हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अवर न्यू लेसन वोल्टेज एंड इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स विच इज़ रिलेटेड टू चैप्टर सेवन इलेक्ट्रिक करेंट सो आई होप दैट ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग एक्सल इन योर स्टडीज एंड टूडे द लेसन इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज़ बेसिकली द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो वट इज़ द डिफरेंस बिटवीन अलेक्ट्रो एंड वोल्टेज एंड अलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस इन डिटेल सो वट इज़ अलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स इलेक्ट्रोमोटिव फोर्स इज डिफाइन एज अ टोटल वर्क डन पर यूनिट चार्ज वन चार्ज फ्रूज अराउंड अ कम्प्लीट सर्किट सो वेन एवर द चार्ज वी वॉन्ट टू गिव दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मूव द चार्ज अराउंड अ कम्प्लीट सर्किट द इनर्जी रिक्वायर्ड or the total work done which is required we call this as electromotive force and it is given by the equation the total work done in moving the charge around a complete circuit the unit of electromotive force is joule per coulomb or volt a battery or any other device which provides electrical energy is called an electromotive force so basically this term electromotive force is basically associated with the source of the electrical energy electromotive force is not a force it is the work done on each charge by a battery to move them around the circuit a battery itself has some resistance which uh, is called its internal resistance in fact emf is the maximum voltage between the terminals of the battery and so uh, the terminal so we can write maximum voltage is equal to the total work done in moving the charge around a complete circuit so basically you can also call the maximum voltage as the electromotive force keep in mind that electromotive force is always greater than the voltage so the terminal potential difference of a battery or generator when it delivers a current is related to its electromotive force and its internal resistance is as follows so when delivering uh, electric charge uh, when we are going to deliver the electric charge the equation for the terminal voltage would be equal to the electromotive force minus the voltage drop in internal resistance so we can write the equation as the voltage is equal to motor electromotive fo force minus the voltage drop uh, in the internal resistance internal resistance basically the source of the um, electric current like the you can call this as um, uh, battery or generator when receiving current on charge when the charge is being received we add up the electromotive force with that of the uh, voltage and the equation can be written as voltage is equal to internal electromotive force plus uh, voltage drop in internal resistance so when no current exists we can we can say that if there is no current we call them the terminal we can say that the terminal voltage is equal to the electromotive force of the generator or the battery in simple words when there is no current exists we can uh, write that the voltage becomes equal to the electromotive force difference between electromotive force and potential difference so electromotive force uh, is the maximum potential difference between the two electrodes of the cell when no current is drawn from the cell that is when the circuit is open when the circuit is open when there is disconnection of the circuit the maximum potential difference between the two electrodes we call this as electromotive force potential difference is difference of potentials between any two points in a closed circuit it is independent of the resistance of the circuit but electromotive force is independent of the resistance while the potential difference is de totally dependent on the uh, resistance between the given points the term emf is only used for the source of the emf it is while the potential difference is measured between any two points of the circuit it is greater than the potential difference between any two points in the circuit however the potential difference is greater than emf when the cell is being charged okay so when the whenever the cell is being fully charged we can say that the potential difference is greater than the electromotive force however if there is um, uh, if there is um, uh, decrease in the charge so we can say that the electromotive force is greater than the potential difference equation of electrical circuits unlike perfect batteries what are perfect batteries perfect batteries are those which have zero internal resistance that is electromotive force is equal to the voltage these are called 
as the perfect batteries whenever the electromotive force becomes equal to the voltage we call the batteries as the perfect batteries the real batteries have internal resistance but uh, however um, the perfect batteries do, do not have internal resistance it is an ideal sort of batteries while the real batteries they have internal resistance the terminal voltage is not equal to the emf for the battery so the in real life practically the real batteries they here the emf is not always equal to the voltage when we pass the supply the potential different potential increase by an amount potential supplied by the, all the perfect cell and decreases by r i r that is the voltage drop across the internal resistance so the potential difference across the real cell would be given by the equation whenever there whenever there is decrease there is um uh, decrease in the uh, charge of the battery we usually men, uh, write uh, with, with through this um mathematical form that the voltage of the battery would be equal to the electromotive force minus the internal resistance the potential difference on the other hand is equal to the v is equal to uh, product of uh, 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 current and resistance so uh, putting the value of the voltage in the above equation in the above equation we get the this relation so here uh, we can write electro we can arrange the equation for electromotive force that electromotive force which can be equal to the uh, product of uh, current and resistance plus product of uh, current and internal resistance of the battery so uh, taking common as a, um, taking current as the common factor the equation can be arranged in this format so we can also deduce we can also uh, find the value of current from this equation by arranging the equation in this form if in a circuit has more than one resistance or more than one battery the equation we can write the sum of all the electromotive forces of the batteries divided by the sum of all the resistance plus the sum of internal resistance of the batteries and if the internal resistance of the battery is very small is very or we can say is very negligible so we can write the equation in uh, that the current overall the current of the circuit is equal to the sum of the electromotive force divided by the sum of all the resistance now let's do some question there is a current of 0.4 ampere when a battery of electromotive force of 6.0 volt is connected to a resistance of 13.5 ohm calculate the internal resistance of the cell so we know that the equation for electromotive force is equal to uh, current uh, multiplied by resistance plus internal resistance so putting the value in the equation and uh, doing proper calculation we get the internal resistance of the battery to be 1.5 ohm question number 2 a 9.0 volt battery has an internal resistance of 12 ohm what is the potential difference across the terminals when it is supplying a current of 50 milli ampere so what is a diff what is the maximum current this battery could supply so first of all you need to find the resistance through the given values through the given values of the voltage and the internal resistance of the battery so resistance is equal to 9 uh, um, sorry 9 over 50 milliampere so this is the resistance external resistance of the circuit so after doing proper calculation the resistance is equal of the circuit is equal to 180 ohm after finding the resistance we can arrange the, no, we can put the value of the resistors uh, current and internal resistor in the equation of the electromotive force and doing proper calculation we uh, find the value of electromotive force to be 9.6 volt then uh, we in the second part of the question is that what is the maximum current you need to find the maximum current so definitely we know that the electromotive force is equal to the um, uh, is equal to uh, product of 
maximum current and resistance arranging the equation and putting the value in the equation and doing the calculation we get the maximum current to be 53.3 milliampere question number 3 is a uh, direct current generator has an emf of 120 volt that is its terminal voltage is 120 volt when no current is flowing from it an output of 20 ampere the terminal potential is 115 volt what is the internal resistance of the generator and what will be the terminal voltage at an output of 40 ampere so you need to find lots of things so let's start first we need to find the external resistance through the equation that resistance is equal to ratio of voltage over current so this is also known as the Ohm's law that you have uh, studied in your previous classes so applying the Ohm's law putting the value in the equation we find the resistance of the circuit as 5.75 ohm and then uh, the electromotive force we can find the internal resistance through the equation of the electro electromotive force putting the value in the equation and uh, doing the proper calculation we find the internal resistance of the um, generator to be 0 0.25 ohm then uh, we need to find the terminal voltage at an output of 40 ampere so we know that at 20 ampere the voltage required is 115 volt so the, at the output of 40 ampere the terminal voltage let's suppose we take this as x so uh, uh, doing the uh, uh, taking ratio on both sides so we can arrange the equation in this form and uh, uh, we can find the uh, value of x after arranging the equation in a proper way and so we find the value of x to be 230 volt so I hope that you have understood the lesson do practice the questions and the lesson stay happy do study and take care of yourself <laughs>